Hey there, we are about to do a webinar right here and someone test asked this question. Uh, how do we change the spacing above and below the pagination on a blog page? So here's our pagination, here's a blog page. We wanna change that spacing and specifically Tess was talking about the spacing on mobile. It's as awkwardly close to the footer, she says, and I tend to agree with that. So let's quickly show you how to do that. So in the design area, let's go to custom CSS. We wanna type in section.item-pagination. And we're going to add some curly brackets so we can add some properties in here. I'm gonna say padding top, colon, 34 pixels, padding bottom, colon, 34 pixels. And boom, there we go, it's that easy. So let's quickly talk about what we're doing uh, and maybe make a couple adjustments here. Whoop, added uh, a little space between the three and four. Um, so this is gonna apply on desktop and mobile. It's gonna make that 34 pixels. Say we want different spacing between those two. We can add in a media query. So I'm gonna say at media and then max width 767 pixels. So now we're saying as long as our screen, the screen we're looking at is smaller than 767 pixels. So this is like uh, a tablet in, in horizontal mode, in the vertical mode or your iPhone. So this is kind of mobile device. As long as our media is smaller than that size, we can create different padding sizes. So I'm gonna say padding top, uh, maybe let's just make this even smaller so we can see the difference padding bottom 17 pixels as well so you see nothing changed here as i made that but as we look at this on mobile now we're back to more of that awkward spacing there uh, so actually it might be better to keep this 34 here on mobile you see that's changing and maybe change this up to 68 on desktop so we have a little more spacing on desktop and that that might be what you want so this looks pretty good so how did I know it was this element, section.item pagination? Well, this is all in the web inspector. If you hit right click and go to inspect, you can look at all the HTML, basically the core structure that is building this web page. What I wanted to do is grab this little target selector thing right here and just hover over the item I wanted to change. And what I'm looking for is adjusting the padding. I just know that because I've been working in CSS a lot. Once you work in CSS more, you will understand that, but the padding is shown as green on any element that I'm hovering over. And so if you just click on that, you'll see the element that pops up. And so I was able to select this by using section. So that's just our, our tag name of the element right here. So I put it right here. There's nothing uh, before it, nothing before it at all. And then I wanted to grab a class. So item-pagination and classes, you denote classes by using a dot. And we sort of strung all of these together because they're on the exact same element. Uh, and I just changed the, you can see the results of what I added right here, padding top. Uh, padding bottom 68 pixels. So that is how this works. Hope this helps. Let me know if you have any other questions uh, and hope you have a great day.